So it's great road at Endron. Okay, a couple things. You're only getting one anyway. So leathery looking leaves. Uh, not as plasticky as that southern magnolia. Yeah, they're more flexible and bend and don't rattle. Very large, large, conspicuous flower buds. Very, very big flower buds. Of course, they get a very, very pretty bloom. Uh, you know, the Park Service, you know, like just like fall color, they're asked all the time, you know, when's the rhododendrons blooming? People want to drive up on the parkway and see rhododendrons blooming. So they're that, they're that pretty. Uh, this is going to have a lot of flowers on it because there's lots of buds. The flowers then produce these fruits right here. Okay, and they're like a soft, elongated capsule, kind of sausage shaped, very tall. Those are going to ripen to a brown color. And, oh, here we go right here. Here's last year's. And they'll split open. They're wooden capsules. They'll split open and inside are very, very small. I always say it's like ground pepper. Tiny, tiny little seeds uh, come out of these capsules. So right now, you see these tall little sausage shaped things. In, in a big, that shows you how every one of those had a flower, right? So it was a big, huge, pretty display of white to pinkish blooms. And then in the garden, it, again, you know, they have all different colors too, you know. You know what yeah, pink ones and white Yeah, deep, deepening, you know, they again, have varieties and such and other species. <laughs> uh, these form super dense thickets. If any of you spend any time out hunting uh, or just hiking and you get off trails, uh, it's going to be a real pain making your way through that. I always remind people, well, it could be worse. It doesn't have thorns. <laughs> you know, out west you can get into some things with the fact that, that there's thorns on them, right? So it doesn't have that. But if you, if you find yourself off the trail in a rhododendron thicket, it's it's not fun.